What's going on YouTube? This is Seha Man back with another Star Wars The Black Series figure review. Today we're taking a look at figure number two. Right here we're looking at Ma uh, Darth Maul. Now this is made by Hasbro and this is the new uh, six inch figures that are, re are getting released in stores. Now this is a uh, beautiful packaging. It's got a really nice black to it. It's got the Star Wars Black Series written up top. Picture of Darth Maul there. Uh, Darth Maul, this is figure number two. Uh, right there in the back we got some pretty cool artwork there of... Um, uh, the movie in uh, uh, episode one. A little read up right there. The evil Sith apprentice Darth Maul engages in a fierce lightsaber duel with Qui, Qui John Jinn and Obi Wan Kenobi. At last, we'll reveal ourselves to the Jedi. At last, we will have revenge. So that's the packaging on this. Let's take a quick look at the figure. So we're going to take this out of the packaging. Stay tuned, guys. All right, so here we have Darth Maul. Quick little 360 look at the figure. This is just a well done figure. He is just loaded with a lot of little crazy details. He's got some pretty cool articulation. and He's got some nice uh, little accessories that he does come with. Uh, we'll get a quick top to bottom look and then we'll take a closer detailed look at him. As you can see right there, all the way down. Very, very nice. And that cloak that he has on is just really cool looking. All right, let's get a closer detailed look at him. So before we take an actual look at the figure, we'll look at the accessories he does come with. And uh, he does come with a set of binoculars that he does use in the film. You can see right there, which is pretty cool. It's got some a uh, little bit of uh, detail on them. The paint is on it is pretty good. So he does come with the binoculars. Very nice. Comes with an interchangeable head. Look at that. That looks just great. This is just a beautiful head sculpt. I love the black and red. They did a great job. Good thing I don't have any like paint problems with my figure. Very, very nice. You know, now that I look at this guy, if you guys can see the movie Insidious, kind of looks like the demon from Insidious. What do you guys think? The eyes look crazy. This is just a really, really good um, head sculpt right here. So it does come with an extra head. And, of course, his lightsabers. The dual lightsabers. You can see there's the handles there. One of them has a peg, one of them has a hole, because they do plug in together. Get that there, my stomach is growling. And you get yourself the dual lightsaber, which is very, very, very cool. So it's nice that we get that. Again, like the, Luke's, like the Luke one, it is a uh, softer plastic, so be careful with it that you don't bend these or leave them in the heat, because they might get a little warped. So he does come with that. Two lightsabers. All right, let's get a look at the figure. So here is Darth Maul, a very, very, very nice figure. Now the cloak is removable, but I'll get into that in a second. We're gonna look at the. We're gonna take a close look at his head sculpt. Very nice. I mean, this guy just looks crazy with that hood on. Looks really, really cool. We'll get both uh, head sculpts together, so you can see. Almost look to be the same. Probably are the same for all I know. But the, the, the cloak that he's wearing is a softer plastic, but it's got a lot of uh, little details on it. You can see it has a lot of little wrinkles. It's just very, very cool. And I, li I, love, I like the feeling on it. It's a really soft, rubbery material. So that's really cool. I really like how that looks. You can see right there, you can kind of flap it open. You can kind of put it over his shoulders there, hide his arms. Very nice. And it goes all the way, almost, almost all the way down to his feet. But he's got some pieces that are like sticking out over here just careful that you don't mess it too much you don't break it now you can remove this hoodie and by doing so the hoodie and the head are basically attached together so you just pop off the head and you can see there you can you can even display this if you had like a little stick or something with a little stand you can display it like that if you really wanted to but it's really cool this is a very nice little touch I mean that it's attached to the head and then you can just take this apart and then just pop in Darth Maul's head right there and you can display them like this if you wanted to. Me personally, I like them like this. I think it looks crazy with this on. Now we get a closer look at uh, his outfit. Everything else is pretty much sculpted on. This is your softer material here. And then he has a cloth little material right there in the bottom part, in the, in the, in the inside part here. You can see this is, he has a little cloth material there. And if you open this flap up here, again, he's got the little cloth material, which is Pretty cool, pretty cool to have the, the soft plastic and the cloth material. 
but uh, he does have a lot of great little detail going on throughout his outfit. He's got a glossier black on the belt and on the gloves. And for the most part, he does hold his weapons very well. The boots also a glossy material. Got some nice little detail uh, going on in the boots. It's got some pegs at the bottom of the feet. So this overall is just a beautiful, beautiful figure. Um, the head can go up and down, can rotate. Arms go in and out, forward and back. He's got a bend at the bicep, rotation in the lower arm. The wrist can rotate. Uh, he can rotate at the waist. He's got a he's got some uh, ab crunch. Not too not not too good. Not as good as the Luke Skywalker one. The legs can go in and out. They go in and out pretty good, forward and back. He's got a bend at the knee. Looks like it's double jointed. Mid leg rotation. No lower leg rotation, but he does have the ankle rockers, so that's pretty cool. And the foot can go up and down pretty far. So he is a very well articulated figure and a great figure out of the two that I've opened up so far. This one's my favorite one so far. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. We were taking a look at the Black Series Star Wars figure. These are the, these are the six inch figures. Uh, we were taking a look at Darth Maul. This is figure number two. Go check them out, guys. They are hitting stores. Definitely recommend this figure. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, like my video. Subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed yet. And we'll see you guys soon. What's up, guys? This is Sehaman back with another Marvel Legends. Not even Marvel Legends.